Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Dresden, Germany. This is stop number three on our journey through Germany, exploring some of the best Christmas markets in the country. When putting together this itinerary, Dresden was one that could not be left off. Dresden is home to some of the oldest Christmas markets that you'll find in the country, and we have four selected for tonight, so let's get to it. Tonight's itinerary takes us from the north of the river to the south of the river, but one great thing about Dresden as opposed to Hamburg and Berlin, where we've been already, Behind the scenes of what this night is, is that Dresden's extremely walkable. What? We're not missing this one. There's no way. First up on our list takes us right across the Elbe River to Augustus Markt. This market runs all the way from Newtown Market to Trinity Church. It's insanely long, and it's also one of the most international markets you'll find here in the city. We just walked through it, and I have no idea how there are so many vendors. It's insane. As Hannah mentioned, this is the most international of all of the markets that we're gonna visit, which got me really excited because I read online that there's a white and gold Japanese pagoda here, but I can't find it to save my life. So uh, I guess I'll have to wait for whenever I see a Japanese pagoda. That'd be pretty cool to see, right? I think so. I'd, I'd really like to see a Japanese pagoda. We're here filming on a Saturday night and it is absolutely packed. But it's also like the second most popular Christmas market here in Dresden. So we're going to go to one of the other two, see if we can access a stand uh, that sells glue vine or food or something like that. Or Either both. way, I, or both. Yes. So we're going to head back south across the river to stop number two. Our second market on the itinerary tonight is Christmas Market at the Franck Kirche. And it's not the biggest Christmas market that you're gonna find here, but it is probably known for having the best backdrop. The church in the background is absolutely insane. And it's also packed over here right now because there's currently an Advent service going on inside the church that's being streamed outside. So a lot of people are watching it. So this is super small, but definitely don't pass it up. Well, the last two markets have been quite packed, and the last one was a little bit small. It's in great proximity to our next location because the city is so walkable. Just on the other side of the church is Neumarkt. This market is nicknamed the Advent Market, and it's kind of convenient because the Advent Mass is going on right now. But it also has items of historical significance as well as a bunch of different arts and crafts. We saw someone blowing glass. Like there's a ton of different things that you can get here to take home with you, but we can't because they're a little too fragile. <laughs> One thing that we are sad that we're not gonna be able to get just because it takes up a little too much room is the, I'm gonna really butcher this, but I'm gonna go for it. Heron Hunterstern. Maybe? I don't know. Heron Hunterstern it originates here in Dresden. We were told that is something that we should definitely get, and it's definitely something that you should look at getting if you ever come here. Trying to find food without crazy lines. So I'm following Hannah. She's leading the way. <laughs> We've secured the flowers from our friend. We keep talking about getting a bunch of different things for like dinner at all the different stands and all the different markets. But honestly, the bratwurst, everywhere we go, it's fabulous. It's also difficult because we can't ex exactly read the menu. Yep. <laughs> but they all look really good. When yeah, people do. eat them, we're uh, like, oh, what do they have? So the last three markets have been absolutely beautiful, obviously, but there's only one Christmas market in Dresden that is like known worldwide, and that is Stritzel Market. It's been around for like 500 years. It's the oldest Christmas market in Germany, and it is in a league of its own. As I mentioned, this is the oldest Christmas market in Germany. This is year number 588. Crazy amount of time to be around for Christmas markets. I don't know if it was shut down during COVID the last two years, but I know that it is definitely back up in full this year and it is going all out. The Christmas stands are so, so intricately decorated. It is the most unbelievable Christmas market that I've seen in the three cities that we've gone to thus far. I don't know how it can be topped, honestly. It's the season for blue vine for any reason. Let's go. Oh, it's so warm. Oh God, that actually burned. Okay, no. So this is great blue vine. And we have heard that each blue vine like at the markets is different, but we're after a specific mug. So I guess we're gonna have to try all of them here because this is not the mug that we wanted. It says 2020 and it's the 586 year. 
It's 2022 and it's 588. That's the mug that we're on the hunt for. I don't know if we're gonna find it, honestly. I got myself a pulled pork plate with a baked potato. Yeah, we also got white uh, glue line as well. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> so yeah, I got we got the white. They got the red. I think they got the red. We're just enjoying our glue vine. This is just what we do at a uh, Driz and Christmas Pockets. They're Christmas tree candles. Now we're on the hunt for something sweet, and it's called stolen. And I think we might have found it. Yep, that's it. Do it. Cool. We've heard we had to try it. So, oh, wow, perfect. that was amazing. I did. You already tried it? You like it? Good in my mouth, yeah. It's really good. So this is like a bread that's made here in Dresden, but you have to make it a specific type of way in order for it to be sold at these Dresden Christmas markets. And I've actually watched a documentary on it on YouTube, and that's how I know that. This is a delicacy here in Dresden, so I'm really excited to try it. And if I don't like it, then I'll be very careful about telling you that I don't like it. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a lemony, lemony fruit cake. We are unsuccessful in our mission to get a 2022 cup, but I tried a different kind of glue vine this time, and it is the rosé glue vine, and it is delicious. We also tried the white one. Kind of tastes like uh, apple cider. But not as sweet. Yeah. So, I don't know. Not our favorite. But this rosé is amazing. What do you think about this market so far? It's also amazing. I could get lost in this, though, because there's so much, and there's so many people around that I really have just been like moseying around and not really knowing where we're going. And also everybody's watching me. All right, Charlie, final thoughts. If you are visiting Germany for Christmas markets, then you absolutely have to include Dresden to your itinerary. This is without a doubt one of the most famous cities for Christmas markets in the country of Germany. And it definitely lived up to its reputation. However, when putting together our itinerary, we wanted to make sure to include cities that weren't as internationally known for their Christmas markets because we kind of had a feeling that they would have some great ones as well. So tomorrow morning, we are hopping on a train and we will see you in city number four and episode number four from the city of Leipzig. See ya! Bonus Christmas clip. Market. Bonus clip. There's a Christmas market on the way home to our Airbnb and everyone at the other markets was lined up for this. I have no idea what it's called. Handbrot? 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 And we got the ham and cheese one. That's so good. Alright, let's wrap it here. <laughs>